partway through our two point or a one point perspective uh, bird's eye view. And uh, this is the hardest part, what you've done already. So now it's just small details. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the floors to my buildings. Now the easy way to do this is to draw some lines. I'm gonna use the lines on the paper already because we know those are straight to kind of line this up. And remember, as things go farther away from us, they get smaller. So these should technically get closer as they move down. Oops, I think I went too close too soon. All right, now you turn the page, line up that corner, make sure it's straight here, and come right back. You gotta make sure it's straight with the, the top of the roof. If you don't, they're gonna look all crooked and it won't be right. So if your building is crooked, then use the lines in the street in the middle. Now notice these are closer than this side because of the way the perspective is. They're going to be closer together on this side. Okay, it's a it's narrower and a, a, um, I don't know. It's uh, just the way that your eye is coming from here. You're here, not over here. So you're seeing more of this than you are of this. All right. Um, then what I would do is I would take a line at about the center and then maybe drop a couple more in between those. So the center and then the center of that. It's almost like when you divide an inch up um, and then go back to the vanishing point. Okay, always to the vanishing point in the center. Take it down. Take it down. Line that up with the vanishing point. Check both sides down okay now we got floors we'll do the same thing here about the center about the center of that and around the center of that now these are really gonna look weird uh, when you're doing them but when you take the ruler away you're gonna realize oh I guess that's right it's like wow these are a very steep angle boom we got floors on all of our buildings now or at least we got them on that one um, same thing here in case you missed it. Let's uh, let's start with this side, I guess. Lining everything up, getting it straight. Put one there. We'll put another one here. And this one only gets three floors, so it's shorter. Turn it. Get that corner. Line it up with the top. If you don't line it up with the top, it's going to look all goofy. and We don't want that. No Willy Wonka buildings. All right, and we do our centers. I'm gonna mark this side too. They don't have to be perfect, but you know, if you can get them close, it'll be all right. If you get them way off, it's gonna look goofy. You don't have to measure it, but you could. I got a pretty good eye for distances when it comes to drawing. So I can usually get it so that they're about how they should be. Uh, now, it doesn't matter which side you use, top or bottom, to line them up, but I find that it's easier to do it on the top of the building to get these lines because it's a farther distance. It just seems like it lines up better. But if you're, you know, one of those people that wants to do things the hard way, you can put your dots on the bottom. I wouldn't recommend it, but all right, let's I'm gonna put a couple in here. And voila. Um, now all of our buildings have lines. Notice that I only did one line down the center on this one because I wanted to make them all look a little different. If you make them all the same, it's going to get kind of boring. This one I did it in roughly in thirds and then two on the side. Um, but it doesn't really matter. All right. Next part is not very difficult. So I'm going to line up. Let's see. Let's do it in the center like we did. So I'm lining up on the lines for the inches. And I'm going to come over, if I'm on the, the big uh, space side, 
I'm going to come over two lines. I'm going to put one quarter inch on either side. Okay, now if you did your buildings right, you should have enough space in here to pull it off. If you didn't, you're going to have to fudge it a little bit. Fake it. Now these, you're not going to go across the center lines. You're just going to go down to here and kind of leave a little space. Like that. Do the same thing on this side. Leave a little space. Okay, let's do the same thing on the other side. I'll just use seven, eight. It doesn't really matter which inch you use. Okay, and what we're putting in now are the sidewalks. It doesn't have to be exact, but you know, for our eye, it's a little more pleasing if they're very close. You don't want one sidewalk super wide and one super thin. You know, if you can get them about the same width, it kind of it gives the public confidence that the contractors knew what they were doing. Oh, it just looks better if you can keep them all very similar. Um, so we've got our lines on our buildings. We've got our sidewalks. Um, if we wanted to really, you know, pimp this out, we could get super specific and put in some little tiny curbs on the inside here. I think that adds a lot. You know, there. Just like with your door frames, if you remember back to the last drawing, I think this adds some charm to this. Now you don't want to make it too far away or it's going to look kind of weird, but you know, doing it this way, it gives it some, some height. Now these are some tall curbs from this distance, but you know, if you make them small enough, it should look okay. All right, and one more. Now you want to occasionally wash your rulers because they will smudge your drawing. You can see it's already starting to get some smudges happening. And you don't want a dirty looking drawing. So, you know, go back and try and clean it up a little bit. Uh, so we've got our sidewalks. We could really get, as the kids say, extra. And we probably want to do this. Now notice I didn't go into that little area. Um, but I'm going to kind of get it straight and add my cracks in my sidewalks. Okay, so I would do this all the way around. You want to keep these very similar in size. Try not to have one really long, one really short. So yeah, you would do that throughout all of them. Um, and you can decide whether you want to put a small square here I kind of like it but you know to each is his or her own you know try and guesstimate the uh, approximate size all right and I'm not going to do all of these while you guys are watching I'll cut in a little bit and finish them up um, so we have our sidewalks and our little curb put in. Um, again, we're missing something very important. We have no way to get to our building. So what I like to do is I kind of line it up with some of the, the stuff on the building and have my paths coming in that way. Now you can do a lot of different things with your paths. And uh, generally I put, you know, at least one on each side of the buildings. Sometimes I will have it go right from the bottom of the building all the way out. Oops, I gotta clean that up. I'll fix that later. Uh, sometimes I'll put it to like one square. Um, but yeah, we're gonna add some doors because at this point we don't even have doors on this building. This one I'm gonna do a little different. Put that there and we'll put this one here. Actually, I'm going to go all the way to the outside of this building. 
so it goes kind of behind. Actually, it would have been better if I didn't line it up with that line, so let's fix that. There's my sharpener. Okay, shore up that line. I'm going to go out to about here because that'll look better visually. It won't look like it's part of the building. Um, and then let's do, let's change up the game here a little bit and have this not go into the lines in the uh, building just so we can have something different happening. And we'll do the same thing on this side just for fun. Okay, there's not really a right answer here. You just want to make sure that you have ways for people to get in. Um, this one, let's make it a very long one. Then we'll put like some planners or something in here. All right, so now it's already starting to take on a lot of the character um, that we want. Uh, with this kind of a drawing, you're going to need to keep your pencil sharpened because you need that sharp point. Um, now we need some doors. Now, there's a couple ways to do this. Remember, on the sides of the buildings, you've got to go back to the vanishing point. So whatever you do, make sure it goes there. Um, I'm going to put in some sliding doors here. So I'm going to go about the middle of there and the middle of there. You don't have to do them this way. As long as you put some doors in, that's all that matters. Um, okay, so I've got my doors there. Um, obviously, the best thing I could do is add in some frames for this door to give it some difference from the rest of, some differentiation, that's the word, from the rest of the building. Okay, so you're going to want doors on both sides of the buildings. You can use existing squares. I've done that before. Actually, let me use a side one. Make sure you go to the vanishing point. You got a lot of lines going now. Uh, don't go to the wrong point. There it is. I'm just going to use one square on this door. And that way, people should know that that's a different area. So, yeah, put some doors, you know, on, on each side. Um, you know, usually you can just use existing squares. And drop them on the outside of them. Ooh, I went way too high on that one. That should only be one. What am I doing? back and clean that up. That's a two-story door. That is not what we want. All right, so we got our door there. And with that, that will be the end of part two. Uh, what you're going to do is <clears throat> finish your sidewalks and then uh, put your doors in on all four sides. And that's where we'll pick up for part three. And uh, that's it. It's just that easy. <laughs>